Hello and welcome to the Python web app development using Django. In the previous lessons, we had already installed Python in our system. We had already installed Django in our system. And in today's lesson, we will install the IDE for the Python Django, which I have chosen as PyCharm, as I, I, I feel that PyCharm is one of the best IDE for working on the Django framework using Python language. So let's download this latest version of the PyCharm. For that, I'll go to the Google search engine. So I'll go to the Google search engine and uh, then I will type latest version PyCharm download. So uh, latest version of PyCharm download. And here you can see in the results, we have this jetbrains.com. This is the official website for the uh, PyCharm software. Again, I just want to revise that we should always download softwares from their official website. So I'll click on the download PyCharm. So here you can see we have two versions. One is the professional version and the other is the one is the professional version and the other is the community development so professional development is professional version is the paid version although they provide a 30 day free trial so but still i will be choosing this uh, community version so i'll click on download before downloading let's check the latest version here for the pie charm is being mentioned as 2022.1.4 so this is the latest version uh, we are downloading and let's also check the system requirement before downloading this pie chart. So now you can see system requirement is 64 bit version of the Microsoft Windows. We can have either 8, 10, 11 or higher any uh, operating system of Windows, but it should be a 64 bit version. Then we, sh we need minimum 2 GB RAM, minimum free 2 GB RAM and 8 GB of total system RAM is recommended. Then we need 2.5 GB hard disk space. So these days we are working with the SSD. So SSD is recommended here. And then we need 1024 cross 768 minimum screen resolution. And we need pre-installed Python, which we have already done. We have installed Python 3.10.5, which is the latest version. So we need to see that all the system requirements must be fulfilled and then we need to download this community version. So you can see that the download is begun. It will be completed in approximately two minutes and then we will be executing this to install PyCharm IDE. So now we can see that the download is completed. Now I'm going to click on this executable file to start the setup for the PyCharm. Welcome to PyCharm Community Edition Setup. So we will click on Next to continue. This is the installation path, which is, uh, you can see here, it's C, Program Files, JetBrains, PyCharm Community Edition. We can also change the installation path, but I would like to keep it as it is. And then I'll click on Next. So we need to create the des desktop shortcut. Yes, I would like to create the desktop shortcut for this. Uh, then I will add a open folder as projects as well. I'll also create the associations and then I'll create the bin folder to the path. So remember to click on all these checkboxes and then I'll click on next. So this is showing the program files folder. This is JetBrains. I'll click on install. It will take a few minutes to install the PyCharm. So you can see the PyCharm community edition setup is completed. And then uh, it, it's been asking to reboot now or uh, you want to reboot later. I want to reboot manually later. So I'll click on finish. And then I can uh, go to the my programs and you can see I have this PyCharm community edition. I can click on this. PyCharm Community Edition. I need to agree this uh, license agreement and then I'll click on continue 
and here we have the PyCharm community edition installed in our system. So from here we can start our new project but uh, today we will not start our new project. Uh, in the next lesson we will learn to download and install the database MySQL and then in the next lesson we will learn to create our first Python Django web app.